Welcome back to Eastside Reviews, your home for movie and television and wrestling reviews. So this is my birthday month and we're going to be doing a lot of movies that are very fond, very near and dear to my heart. And this is one that I really watched a lot when I was growing up as a kid. But now the movie kind of takes on a little bit of a different meaning. It's Big Daddy from 1999 starring Adam Sandler. Uh, Adam Sandler, he stars in this movie as Sonny Koufax and un motivated slacker works at a toll booth has his law degree but he's not able to move on to the next phase of his life he and his group of uh, close friends they went to uh, Syracuse together went to law school and uh, now they're in their early 30s and now they're getting ready to move on to the next phase and the next chapter of the, of each of their lives and Sonny he's the one friend who's kind of um it's kind of stuck and not quite ready to make that next leap and he you know he works in the toll booth so he only works once a week he's living off of a lawsuit that he won when his foot got ran over by a cab and you know he he's just he's kind of stuck in that phase he has a little bit of that arrested development but things start to change when a young child gets dropped off on his doorstep uh young julian and uh yeah, thing, things start to change for him. At first, Sonny doesn't really know what to do as a parent, and Sonny twice tries to drop him off back at the uh, social services. But then as time goes on, Sonny develops a love and a bond for the child, eventually leading to a big dramatic court scene towards the end of the movie. Uh, Joey Lauren Adams stars as Layla Maloney. She is the sister of Sonny's roommate's uh, fiance uh who absolutely hates sunny uh eventually layla and sunny they become an item and they eventually get married that we find out at the end of the movie john stewart uh this is right towards the the earlier stages of his tenure on the daily show he stars as kevin garrity sunny's roommate and best friend and the father of the child that gets dropped off he ends up uh he ends up remembering towards the end that he's Julian's father because uh, you know one night at a one night stand at a Toronto with the Toronto Hooters wait waitress uh, fostered that child uh, during the '93 World Series. Leslie Mann is Corinne, uh, the sister of Layla, the fiance of Kevin, and the sworn enemy of Sunny. She's a doctor now, and she worked as a Hooters waitress. But um, yeah, it, it's it's funny. One of the ne uh, big negative of this movie is the fact that they kind of keep bringing up the Hooters thing with her a lot in the movie, and it, it's said that she is a she's a doctor now, and Sunny can't stop making fun of the Hooters thing, and so that that's the one kind of recurring joke that I'm less like, eh, not not as funny, but I think Leslie Mann delivers a really good performance. It's an Adam Sandler movie, so you know Rob Schneider's showing up, you know. Uh, his frequent collaborators, uh, Jonathan Lorgan, uh, Alan Covert, and Peter Dante, all show up, and they are all they are all lawyer friends of Sonny. And yeah, the the movie is rounded out with young Julian being portrayed by Cole and Dylan Sprouse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's this movie is like I said, it kind of hits a little bit different now that I'm older because. It's at this stage of life, really in your 30s, where you kind of solidify yourself as a full, as a full adult. Really, once you're past 25, that's when things start getting shored up. And in this movie, it really, it man, it, it really highlights how odd that time can be. A lot of your friends are now starting to settle down, get married, establish themselves with their jobs long term, and a lot of them are starting to have kids and they're moving on and it's truly the the days of being young the days of being you know that college age where you don't have as much responsibility those days are truly truly over and it can be it can be a little frightening for a lot of people and we get that early in the movie with the scene with adam sandler and john stewart's characters with sunny and with kevin where they talk about uh sunny wishes that you know things were like the way they were when they were in college when his girlfriend Vanessa who was played by Christy Swanson she was she's a party planner they knew each other in college they've been dating for a while and she's now at that point where she's starting to want to have a family want to have a home 
and Sonny's still not quite ready to get to that point and he wants to go back to the way things were and and Kevin tells him they, they kind of can't go back to those days um, it's it's a real it, it really is kind of frightening it's like damn you ain't young no more and things are things are going to be permanently different and i think the parenting style of Ke- of uh sunny with julian is very interesting at first he kind of has more of a loose outline when he decides to keep him and he you know goes about the method of not wanting to be like his dad not wanting to be strict so he decides you know what i'm gonna give you instead of uh telling you what to do i'm gonna give you options and I think a lot of millennial parents and a lot of parents, you know, who are coming up now, they have that philosophy with their kids, not wanting to perhaps make the same mistake that their parents made and wanting to do things a little bit different. But we see how that can go, because if you give kids un, unmitigated freedom, unrestricted freedom, um, things can go a little bit awry. And it shows that there is a way to be a modern parent. You can have structure for your child while also giving them more freedom and more flexibility it's a delicate balance but it can happen and we see that as time progresses with the relationship between julian and sunny and it it really is the heart of the movie this relationship between this unmotivated 30 some 30 year old and this kid and they're really good i think the performance by cole and dylan as julian they're it's really good i think adam sandler plays off them really well he does the yelling thing at one point in this movie in fact a couple of points in this movie he brings a lot of heart to the movie as well and that's something that adam sandler in his best movies always does um he is the the characters that really play off him well uh the characters tommy and phil they're now a couple they're now a boyfriend and sunny he's really He's really cool with it. And I think for a movie coming out in 1999, without them making fun of the gay people, without the gay people being like the most flamboyant, floaty, mincing, kind of stereotypical gay people, I think that's a good point towards it. I do think the character Mike being uncomfortable, I think that actually is kind of realistic because it can take a while for people who aren't, who either haven't been around gay people a lot or are not used to the people in their lives coming out. I think them being uncomfortable, it can, it's one of those things where when you see his kind of mannerisms and the way that he acts, I think that's, it's more realistic. It's unfortunate, but I do think there is a little bit of, there is a lot of realism in that. And it's not that he hates them. He's just, he's uncomfortable with it. Although they have, it is established in the movie they've been dating for a while, so that, that's a one. That, that's another point where it's like, dude, at, at a certain point you got to get get fucking past it. But um, John Stewart in his role, he's only in the movie. He's in the movie for a limited amount of time because his character goes off to China for uh, for work reasons, which is why Julian ends up getting in the care of Sonny when uh, when he gets dropped off at their apartment. But John Stewart, he he's solid in this role. He's not really known for his movie roles, but I think the the stuff that he's given in this movie, I think he he plays off and he does it really well. Uh, Rob Schneider, he's Rob Schneider. He's got to have a funny accent for some reason. He's he, he, uh, it, it's one of those things where it's like that's kind of that shows you the limits of what Rob Schneider can do as an actor, as a comedian, and. The role of Nazo, it's not, it's not terrible, it, it, but it, it's just, it's a Rob Schneider role. Um, oh, of course, Steve Buscemi is in the movie. He is a homeless man, and again, it's an Adam Sandler movie, so you knew he was gonna pop up. Um, honest to God, I'm surprised Tim Meadows didn't show up because he's in uh, in so many Adam Sandler movies. But yeah overall oh and fun fact in this one this is actually the movie where adam sandler meets his future wife jackie uh adam sandler's wife uh, jackie she is a waitress in this movie and they actually met hit it off and now they've got their own family and so yay uh that that's a beautiful part but big daddy was always one of those movies where when i was a kid we'd always play it me my cousin my sister we would always watch this movie uh we'd remember some of the lines of the movies you know i wipe my own ass and, and, and stuff like that and we'd watch it but now i think 
going back and watching it almost 20 years or yeah 20 years after it's come out and now having lived life now having you know experienced some of these things with friends moving on getting kids having you know getting jobs and everything and really establishing themselves as full-fledged adults it's a lot more i think it's a lot more relatable as a film and it's kind of appropriate that we're doing this during a um, birthday month because you know i'm at that stage now i'm going to be turning 30 at the end of the month and so it's yeah it, it's one of those things where it's like man this is this is kind of crazy but i relate a lot to sunny in some ways i am a lot more responsible than sunny is in this movie and i think that's the point sunny is kind of aggressively irresponsible at certain points but by the end of the movie that we see we, we see in the end that he's gotten his act together and he's gotten his life straightened out and it's all started when this little boy was dropped off on his doorstep that's gonna do it for this review if you haven't seen big daddy in a while um it's available for rent on amazon prime it just left hulu literally uh, about a week ago so uh tough break but if you've got amazon prime go ahead and rent it it's only three bucks to rent it in standard def no need to go hd for the movie and eh, not it, it's not a sci-fi movie so you don't need to go hd but that's gonna do it for this review make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel make sure you are following me on all the social medias at jamel 727 on twitter and instagram donate a little bit at the cash app on uh jamel 727 make sure you're treating each other well make sure you're being a kind and nice person to everyone that you meet who deserves it and make sure you're taking care of your minnows make sure you're taking care of yourself i will catch you guys next time for another review until then i'm out Peace.